So something I noticed when looking at Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 is that they don't orb change until they get to Gamma 1. And for some reason, I never noticed that till now. It's crazy, right? It's so crazy. Um, remember, I don't claim to know everything about Dokkan. I absolutely do not. I am just a, just a regular guy that reads cards uh, about Dokkan, right? And as well as it, I enjoy playing the game too, of course. But, you know, I mean, if you... If you're reading cards about the game, you got to play the game, right? So it just makes sense. So, uh, Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, okay, let's go ahead and see. That uh, goes into a little standby mode. Um, Gamma 2 drops a little nuclear bomb on the boss, and then Gamma 1 is just the defensive wall while supporting and doing all that other good stuff while getting, uh, I don't know, attack defensive weapons passed through super attack effects as well as him supporting. He does, okay, this card does a couple things, right? So, this card comes out as a part two Carnival LR for the ninth year anniversary. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and um, talk about them. How did they perform today's match? They performed just fine. They are a good Carnival LR. Uh, their leader skill is superheroes, three key and 200% stats. Might I say they have a very powerful leader skill because they are leading one of the best teams in the game. Uh, they're 12 key, that being victory combo, and it's a strike based super. 30% attack and defense one turn. Good, solid, sweet. You can't get nothing better than that. And they're 18 key their 18 keys the super gamma blast and i'm pretty sure that's like a little what do they call the little sword thing for the super i don't even remember uh 50 attack and defense in one turn again standard sweet you can't get any better than that we keep it nice and standard for their super attack effects good super attack effects their passive that being superheroes power three key and 125 percent attack and defense at the start of turn nice naked additional three key and 125 percent attack and defense when their HP is 30% or above, and they give superheroes, join forces, and defenders of justice three key and 50% across the board. So they give monstrous support, and they get a 30% chance to crit and launch an additional super attack up to two additional super attacks within the same turn per int keys for obtained. And they get an additional 12% chance to crit and launch an additional attack that has a 70% chance to come a super attack, and that's up to two additional attacks in the same turn per AGL and STR key sphere obtained. So referencing the key sphere colors to Gamma 1 and Gamma 2, like the little cleverness that Dokkan went with. And they get an additional 50% attack and defense and 30% damage reduction within the same turn. And that's that's just onwards. Starting from the turn in which this character does their third attack in battle. Okay, so um, this card, right? So this card really wants to get two end key spheres. Absolutely. They either want to get two end key spheres or two AGL key spheres or two STR key spheres to get their damage reduction and additional attack defensive buff immediately inside their base. Because if they do not get it, they get turned into uh, a pack. Yes, they get blown up. Right, class? Uh, if Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 do not get their orbs immediately and do their three attacks, they are getting cooked. Yes. All right. Can they get cooked turn one? Absolutely, they could. Um, what they're doing that is uh, that's good is that they're supporting. They're giving this monstrous support to three specific categories. They could get up to uh, what's that? It's up to four plus supers. You get their you do their first super. They, they do their two plus supers from their passive, and then they do their additional super potential system. So that's four plus supers and uh, thirty percent damage reduction. That is all. Yeah, and as well as them having um, standard super attack effects that are good. Um, the problem is that they really do want to get those orbs. They either want to get those two AGL key spheres, those two SPR key spheres, or those two in key spheres. I do like the fact that Dokkan made this the third attack in battle rather than the third super attack in battle. So that way it doesn't limit them to only getting it two in key spheres to get this immediately. Now, granted, they, they do have a lower crit chance, but I mean, who really gives a damn about crit chance? Because the main thing about this card is that their standby as well as uh, getting to Gamma 1 is a priority, right? So, um, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about their uh, standby. So, uh, of course, they're entering their standby mode. They stand by for four turns. So of course, they get the little charge count increases by one attack performed by allies. So, it's just very easy to get off and can be activated when HP is 70% or less at, or after performing three or more attacks in battle. So, pretty much, you can get this on turn three. Come back on turn, turn three instantly. Okay. So, standby. Um, so their 12 key is literally the same, except they changed the name to Heroic Assault, right? Yeah, they changed it to Heroic Assault. And the 18 key, um, they keep the same 18 key, but they do now give super class allies 50% defense for one turn, which is obviously very nice. And now this card starts out with six key and 250% attack and defense, as well as 50% damage reduction, very strong, as well as them, of course, uh, getting additional 50% attack and defense on attacking. And do keep in mind inside their little pre standby, they are not getting a attack and defense buff when attacking. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah they, are, they aren't. They aren't. Yeah. 
Yeah, because all he gets is an additional 50% of attack and defense for them to perform that third attack in battle. So yeah. So now they're getting an attack and defense above when attacking, as well as baseline 50% damage reduction and more attack and defense with key, as well as them, of course, giving the same amount of support. And they're, of course, getting the same amount of crit chance, as well as them performing a guaranteed supers with uh, with two in key spheres obtained. And it's pretty much the same thing for the AGL and uh, STR key spheres obtained. So inside the standby, the only thing that really changes is that um, they uh, get their combined uh, attack and defensive buff from them just being above the HP threshold. Yeah, they get their combined attack and defensive buff from being above the HP threshold together, as well as the key. Yeah, the key and the attack and defensive buff combined, and they just get a higher amount of damage reduction, as well as them getting attack and defensive buff when attacking. And this, all of this literally stays the same from their pre standby. So there's no point in talking about this. And then their finished attack raise attack by 100% temporarily per uh, charge account, of course, and does uh, super ultimate damage. And th it's just a guarantee stun to enemy and it changes into Gamma 1. Now, Gamma 1 is really where all the bread and butter comes from from this card. And it's really funny how I never realized that this card isn't an orb changer. Why did I think they were an orb changer? I don't know why. I don't know who else is an orb changer on superheroes i was changing orbs and i wasn't noticing it was probably gogeta bro but he's a rainbow orb changer isn't he and it was had to have not been gogeta it probably was okay okay whatever um anyways um gamma one let's see what gamma one's doing so the same exact 12 key um as the standby right and the pre-standby and uh, the same exact uh 18 key as the pre-standby as well as the standby Except the only thing that changes is that the uh, defensive buff for super class allies is for two turns, which is obviously very strong. And uh, uh, his passive, he gets three key and 150% attack and defense, as well as 15% damage reduction. So he has lower attack and defense and lower damage reduction. But the thing is, is that he now gets his little HP restriction back from his low pre standby. And uh, that combined grants you are above the HP threshold. That is three key. Uh, what's that? That's three key. That's 300% attack and defense and 30% damage reduction grants you're above the HP threshold at the start of turn. So yes, um, no, it's six key. Yeah, it's six key, 300% attack and defense and 30% damage reduction at the start of turn. Pretty much if you're, you're above the HP threshold, which you're going to be. It's funny that this card gets its HP restriction back from its pre-standby and the standby just doesn't have it. Okay. Anyways, uh, of course, this card still gets a, its attack and defense buff when attacking, still has a support type buff, and still has uh, the... Uh, no, no, it just doesn't guarantee super, just out the gate. Yeah, see, this, now this card inside its post standby has a guarantee super unrestricted, and it is now orb changer from AGL to Int, and uh, a chance to perform a crit from 20% up to 100%, and 10% uh, damage reduction up to 50% per Int or STR key sphere obtained. So you want to really really want to get those int or str key spheres but the thing is that it really helps him is the fact that he is a specific type or changer from agl to int for him to get those key spheres to get that damage reduction and that guaranteed crit so this card can practically be at what's that that's that's like that's six key 300 attack defense and up to 80 percent damage reduction grants you do get those in key spheres a guaranteed crit as well as him getting attack and defense above when attacking and him also getting his uh, support like he gets his support type buff because he doesn't say self-excluded and he also gets the, uh, the defensive buff for two turns for super class allies helpful definitely helps out for sure yeah good super attack effects he's a support still um up to 80 percent damage reduction this card's solid yeah through and throughout i would say the base is probably the worst part of this card absolutely you want to get through this card's gamma one as soon as humanly possible and the greatest thing about this card is that its best single partner is Gam gamma one gamma one has aged gracefully i would argue absolutely uh seven key 62 percent attack 35 percent defense a five percent chance of crit um good job dokkan gamma one has aged beautifully and gamma two around here this guy's aged like um okay let me let me think of an analogy of how this guy has aged um so you guys know stale chips that you leave inside of uh your cupboard right this card is basically just just stale chips like you left the bag open inside of the cupboard and it's just it, that's that's literally gamma two just stale chips he's he, you, you can't you can't enjoy them no more and then gamma one is just like your fresh uh your fresh like brownie like from fresh out the oven he's aged beautifully fine wine um no no juice world fine wine <laughs> but um yeah the best thinking partner is definitely themselves absolutely but the thing is is that of course you're going to be wanting to get to uh this gamma one um gamma one's going to be the, the best link of partner. 
out, out of the gate because I'm pretty sure Gam 1 is a support type unit and that's going to further help this card out. Um, and then 200% discuss that this card is on. Um, that, what's that's 12, 200% leader discuss. So they're on a absolutely positively healthy amount of 200% leader discuss. And the thing is with this card is that you do not have to run them exclusively on superheroes. You can run them on special poses. Could you run them on special pose? You could. I feel like you can get away with this card in special pose because of Gamma 1. Absolutely. Yeah, you, you could. I don't think you could. Defense of Justice 2 is right there, but um yeah, Defense of Justice does have a blend of special post characters, so there is that. Um so yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Um problem with this card is that their their base, they can get absolutely clobbered. But once they get going, they get going. Um, yeah. And what's funny is I've seen people say this card is underrated. This card is not underrated. I've seen a couple posts on on, on Twitter, excuse me, X quote unquote I've seen a couple posts on there and they, people are saying why are people underrating these guys these guys are not underrated no i feel like they are adequately rated absolutely fucking lootly and their link set um android assault reverend army shocking speed hero of justice sig signature pose fierce battle legendary power let's see the standby anything change nothing changes gamma one nothing changes um categories that they're on full power androids joint forces uh movie heroes artificial life forms worthy rivals final trump card special pose uh, all out struggle, uh, connected hope, defenders of justice. Can they get work um, that they can do on defenders of justice? What the hell does defenders of justice have? Let me see. They on accelerated battle and trusted will battle of fate and superheroes. Um, let me see. Defenders of justice. Do they have a two hundred percent leader skill? I don't remember. Double count wiki's loading like molasses. I hope you guys are doing good. By the way, um, this is a very beautiful Monday. I believe it's Monday. Um, no, it doesn't. Good gracious. Good googly moogly. So that's about it. Yeah. Um, W card. I, I think this is a W card. They're adequately rated. In my opinion. They're alright. They're alright. You really want to get to Gamma 1 though. Gamma 1 can do work. But that's about it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Join the 24-7 Discord server. A link is down below in the description for you guys to join today. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next video again. Peace.